Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about full stack and how long it takes. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how long will it take me to become a full stack web developer if I am devoted to work seven hours a day at it? And the short answer is statistically one to five years, roughly. It depends on how you define it. Let me explain. So you may have heard that there's quite a lot of people out there on the internet who tells you that, oh, we have a bootcamp here that's gonna make you a full stack developer or a front end developer or some type of developer in three months, six months, nine months. The high quality ones are slightly over a year, but usually there's a range. Some of them, uh, still, I don't know, learn JavaScript in 10 minutes or 20 minutes or stuff like that. There's tons of these, these different slogans and the, these different courses that are going to promise you how quickly you can become a developer. Now, what I want to draw your attention to is that all of these people who are telling you the time estimate are correct, depending on how you define being a full stack web developer. Now let, let that sink in for a moment. Every single one of them, just as Carlsberg is probably the best beer in the world, every one of them, they're correct, depending on how you formulate the definition of what it means to, to be that thing. And that's, that's, the, the, that's the devil is in the details, guys. That is exactly the problem with, with advertisements and like all of this stuff, that all these false promises that you get, they're not false. It just depends on it, what your definition is and what their definition is. And if they're saying that their definition is A and yours is B, well, oh, there's just a miscommunication here. We're sorry that you thought that you were going to be a six-figure income type of person in in three months or that you would get a job at Google after X amount of weeks or something like that. And the reason why I tell you that it's between one to five years is because that is roughly the amount of time that all the job postings are going to ask for. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is very simple. If you go today, this exact, like right now, to any, I, I, I know I'm putting myself out there a little bit, but I'm so confident in this that it's, it's gonna be, it's, I, I'm just gonna do it. Go to any job site, literally any job site, and start going through the job postings for some of the IT companies that you have your eye on. And they will all say, I swear to you, all of them, either that you need a, experience, a prior experience, education or sim like a computer science degree or a prior work experience or something like that of one to five years, or they're going to say something along the lines that no prior, in prior experience required. These are the developer ranger, ranges. Now the no experience required or like like the, the things that are lower than that, that's basically them training you. That's literally what it is. Like no, no, no IT company will expect someone with just a few months of experience to be like a full-fledged developer. They're going to give you some type of training program, most likely. There are also ranges above five years where they, but then we're talking about more like manager levels, like really, really senior developers. And the reason why this is the sweet spot range is because this is statistically how long it takes for a person to become fairly self-reliant as a software engineer or as a, as a developer. And this is the thing, it doesn't matter if you study for three months, six months, two years, like that, that's, not, that's not what it's about. It's about when do you reach that point where you know enough about how to develop in uh, develop applications so that a company can feel confident in that they give you some basic introduction or some onboarding process where they just introduce their system because each system is of course different and then you can just produce the results and in order for them to know that well they're going to have to go by some measurement and the one to five year range is pretty much the, the amount of time you invest in college or 
the sort of time it takes a person who is self-taught or working in the industry to actually adopt enough knowledge so that it feels comfortable for the uh, company to hire that person. Now you can absolutely get here quicker. I mean, you can be a super genius and you can say that, well, if I studied my absolute ass off and I have all the genetic benefits and I have my parents are computer and scientists who both won the Nobel Prize, well then, yeah, sure, you can probably become a full stack developer in a short amount of time. It becomes a question of circumstances, but on average, if you spend seven hours every day, you're still going to require around a year to one and a half years of experience in order to get there. Not because you're not good enough to build web to build a web application, but that is roughly amount, the amount of time the companies want to see that you have invested before they want to hire you. Because they want to feel secure in that they are not paying for your education most of the time. Some companies will pay for your education. If you're really lucky, you can get there even quicker. And then you can be a quote unquote web developer, depending on once again, how do you define a web developer? Because if you're defining it that you should know as much as someone who's been working for years, then no. But if you define it as, oh, I'm being paid to do web work, then yes. If you're being, if you're, if you, if you define being a professional web developer as you are being paid to do this, then you can, you could start today. If you find a company today who will just take you as you is, as you are right now, and say, hey, you know what? We're gonna pay you to learn this stuff. Well, then you are a professional. Congratulations. You're not most likely gonna feel like a professional, but technically you are. That's why this question is so difficult to answer and it is why I tell you one to five years because the job, the average job that is available to you is going to have that as a requirement before they even let you get into the interview. So you can achieve this in many ways. As I've stated before, you can be self-taught and have solid proof like do freelance work or do something that proves that you have invested a certain the, um, one to five years roughly in order to prove to the interviewers that yeah this is probably a person worth our time or you can go to college you can get a degree because that also represents about that amount of time and then take it from there this is why this is a fairly easy time to, like a very easy time estimate to have because it's it's you can check it today literally today you don't even have to take my word for it go to the job posting and you will see exactly what i'm saying so what i want you to take away from this is that you can become a web developer today you can it can take you 10 minutes to learn javascript it depends on how do you, how you define being a web developer if you define it as i'm being paid to do this well then it's as easy as taking a few simple courses and then finding the right company who's going to pay you a salary to do that work if you define it as you're going to be someone who is on the average range of what is required in order to be a web developer from the vast major the perspective of the vast majority of companies in the industry, well, then it's going to be one to five years. You can go and check the job postings in your region and you can see it more accurately. I say one to five years because that is usually the range depending on if you're here in Sweden or in the US or something like that. In your region, it might be two years and up to five years or something like that. But the minimum is usually around, the minimum requirements are usually at that range. And that is not because you can't learn how to make a web server in a shorter amount of time. It is because the companies want to feel like they're hiring people who are further ahead in their learning than someone who just took two weeks to learn the basics. That's who, and that they are the gatekeepers. It's the same thing with school. It's the same or getting into any job. Some things that you study in school may not be relevant for the job, but they still want to see that you have invested, not because you have to use it on a daily basis, but because they want to feel secure in that they're hiring a good person. That's what it comes down to. Have a great day.